Every two years, something extraordinary happens just outside Paris. At Le Bourget Airport, the world's most powerful names in aviation gather for an event that's more than a trade show. It's a spectacle, a battlefield of innovation, and the ultimate showcase of human ambition. This is the Paris Air Show, the oldest and most prestigious aerospace exhibition on the planet. Picture it, sleek jets slicing through the sky in perfect formations, leaving white contrails that shimmer against the blue. On the ground, billion-dollar deals are inked with handshakes and champagne. Engineers and designers proudly unveil aircraft that seem pulled straight out of the future. This is the same stage where legends like the supersonic Concorde and the colossal Airbus A380 first captured the world's imagination. For those in the industry, it's the Super Bowl of aerospace, a place where history is made, innovation is celebrated, and every glance toward the sky carries a hint of wonder. But 2025 is different. Even as the jets gleam in the sunlight and the pavilions stand taller than ever, there's a subtle tension in the air. Something has shifted. The usual buzz of excitement feels heavier. The conversations are quieter. The smiles a little tighter. This year, the Paris Air Show isn't just a celebration of flight. It's a stage where the balance of power in global aviation might just change forever. Just days before the Paris Air Show opened on June 16, 2025, the aviation world was jolted by tragedy. A Boeing 787 Dreamliner, operated by an Indian airline, crashed shortly after takeoff, marking the first fatal accident involving this model. The news spread like wildfire. Social media lit up. Investors panicked, and airlines around the world paused to reassess safety. The timing couldn't have been worse. What was meant to be a showcase of innovation suddenly felt like a reminder of the risks and fragility of modern aviation. Adding to the uncertainty, the global stage was already tense. Geopolitical conflicts in the Middle East were escalating, drawing attention away from commercial progress and back toward instability. At the same time, trade disputes led by the United States, including threats of tariffs and export restrictions, were complicating international partnerships. Deals that once seemed straightforward now required careful navigation of politics and economics. The result? A Paris air show that still dazzled with cutting-edge aircraft and technological marvels, but carried a heavy undertone. This wasn't just about new jets in the sky. It was about who could survive, adapt, and lead in a world where danger, competition, and politics collided. The air was charged with uncertainty, setting the stage for a battleground where the future of global aviation would be tested. For decades, the skies have been ruled by two giants, Boeing and Airbus. Together, they control over 90% of the global commercial aircraft market. If you've ever flown on a major airline, chances are your plane came from one of these two companies. Their dominance has been so complete that few expected a serious challenger to appear anytime soon. Enter Comac, the commercial aircraft corporation of China. For years it hovered in the shadows, quietly developing its technology, forging domestic partnerships, and preparing for a global entrance. To many in the West, Comac remained a mystery. But at the 2025 Paris Air Show, that changed dramatically. Walking past the Comac booth, you could feel a shift in energy. Sleek mock-ups of their jets drew crowds, and even industry veterans stopped in their tracks. Comac wasn't just attending, it was making a statement. This was a company that had spent years learning the rules of the game, and now it was ready to compete at the highest level. The air buzzed with anticipation. Could this quiet Chinese manufacturer actually challenge the long-standing duopoly of Airbus and Boeing? Comac didn't waste time making an impression. At the heart of the buzz was the C919, a narrow-body jet designed to compete directly with aviation's bestsellers the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. Priced at around $90 million, it was immediately comparable to its Western rivals, but what caught everyone's attention wasn't the price, it was the demand. 
In just the first three days of the show, China's three largest airlines, China Eastern, Air China, and China Southern, collectively placed 100 new orders for the C919. That's a staggering number for an aircraft still relatively new to commercial service. To put it in perspective, imagine walking into a tech expo where Apple and Samsung dominate every booth, and a new startup walks in and sells 100,000 phones to major carriers within days. That's the kind of disruption Comac was creating. This wasn't a prototype on display, it was a real operational jet-earning trust. Airlines were willing to commit, showing confidence in Comac's engineering, safety, and delivery capability. The message was clear. Comac wasn't just entering the market, it was here to compete, and the established players needed to take notice. The C919 had taken its first flight into global attention, and the aerospace world was watching closely. While the C919 proved Comac could build a competitive short-haul jet, the company wasn't stopping there. Just around the corner at their Paris Air Show exhibit stood the C929, a sleek, wide-body aircraft designed to compete with aviation heavyweights like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. Unlike concept models that often get overlooked, the C929 drew serious attention. Executives from both Airbus and Boeing were spotted examining the full-scale mock-up, signaling respect and genuine curiosity. The C929 represents China's ambitions to move beyond domestic and regional flights and take on the lucrative long-haul market. This jet is designed for international routes, capable of spanning oceans and continents, opening new opportunities for airlines seeking alternatives to Boeing and Airbus. Behind the mock-up, insiders revealed the project is nearing major flight testing milestones. That means this isn't just a futuristic dream it's inching toward reality. In essence, Comac was sending a message to the world's short-haul success with the C919 is just the beginning. With the C929, China is positioning itself as a serious contender in long-haul aviation, aiming to challenge the very foundation of global air travel. The stakes are higher, and the game is about to get even more competitive. Building a commercial aircraft isn't just about wings, fuselage, and seats. It's about thousands of precision parts, from braking systems to oxygen monitors, all working flawlessly together. And that's where Comac has made a smart, strategic move, integrating itself into the global aerospace supply chain. At the Paris Air Show, Comac signed key agreements with international suppliers. In Europe, they partnered with France's Saffron Group for critical systems like brake controls, anti-icing detection, and crew oxygen systems. Across the Pacific, they worked with the U.S.-based Crane Aerospace for door monitoring systems on the C929. These are components that might seem mundane, but they're essential for safety and certification. By collaborating with experienced suppliers worldwide, Comac is sending a clear message it isn't trying to reinvent the wheel. Instead, it's building credibility and trust, showing airlines that its aircraft meet global safety and performance standards. This strategy does more than fill technical gaps. It positions Comac as a globally connected player, capable of competing on the same stage as Boeing and Airbus, while also laying the foundation for future independence. If an aircraft is the body, then the engine is its heart. And in aviation, mastering the engine is one of the hardest feats in engineering. For decades, China has relied on foreign manufacturers like General Electric and Rolls-Royce for large commercial jet engines. That meant even if Comac built the airframe, the heart of the plane remained foreign. Enter the CV-2000, Comac's domestically developed high-bypass turbofan engine for long-haul aircraft like the C929. This engine is designed to operate flawlessly at high altitudes, endure extreme weather, and run tens of thousands of hours with minimal maintenance, a benchmark that only a few companies in the world have achieved. Beyond performance, it's expected to be fuel efficient, giving airlines a cost advantage while meeting stricter environmental regulations. The CV-2000 isn't just a technical achievement, it's a geopolitical and industrial statement. 
Once mass-produced, it allows China to fully control the production, maintenance, and ecosystem of its wide-body jets. No longer reliant on foreign engines, COMAC can shield itself from export restrictions, trade disputes, and political pressures, transforming China from a participant in the aerospace world into a potential global powerhouse. While COMAC was making headlines, Boeing was facing a storm of its own. Just days before the Paris Air Show, the crash of the 787 Dreamliner operated by an Indian airline shook confidence in the company. It was the first fatal accident involving this model, and honestly, the timing couldn't have been worse. Boeing CEO Donald Trump canceled appearances, press events were quietly scrapped, and the usual dazzling aerial demonstrations were notably absent. Only a single 777-300ER sat on display, while the 737 MAX and Dreamliner stayed grounded for public view. This wasn't just a PR problem, it had financial consequences. Boeing's stock dropped 9% in a single day, wiping billions off its market value. Beyond the crash, lingering issues from the 737 MAX scandals, including production challenges and regulatory scrutiny, continued to cast doubt on reliability. Airlines started reconsidering their orders, some delaying deliveries, others exploring alternatives, even looking toward COMAC for the first time. The contrast was striking. While COMAC showcased ambition and operational success, Boeing's traditional dominance looked fragile. For the first time in decades, the world's leading aerospace company seemed vulnerable, opening the door for new competitors to challenge the established order. While Boeing wrestled with setbacks, Airbus walked into the Paris Air Show like a rock star. In the first three days alone, Airbus secured an astonishing 260 aircraft orders. This included groundbreaking deals like 40A220s for Elot Polish Airlines, the carrier's first ever Airbus order, a massive 84 plane deal with a Saudi startup aligned with Vision 2030, and a blockbuster agreement with Vietjet for 100A321s plus 50 options. On top of that, Turkish Airlines added two A350 freighters, Egypt Air expanded its A350-900 order to 16, and Starlux Airlines in Taiwan increased its A350 fleet to 18 planes. The A220 stood out as a favorite for short-haul routes, combining efficiency with reliability, while Airbus also showcased its commitment to sustainability. The A350, praised for its fuel efficiency and lower emissions, is already compliant with upcoming 2027 carbon regulations, something Boeing cargo aircraft currently don't match. Interestingly, about one-third of Airbus's components are sourced from China, showing how even the European giant relies on the global supply chain to maintain its competitive edge. Airbus's success highlights the resilience and innovation of the established duopoly. While Boeing faltered, Airbus demonstrated that it can thrive under pressure, capturing new markets and reinforcing trust among airlines. The stage is set, a shifting industry where established strength meets emerging challengers. For most of modern aviation history, the skies have belonged to two players, Boeing and Airbus. They designed the planes, set the standards, and divided the world's airspace like a well-choreographed duet. But the 2025 Paris Air Show made one thing clear. That era is over. Comac's bold entrance with the C919, the upcoming C929, and the domestically developed CV2000 engine has transformed the industry into a tripolar battleground. No longer is it just about Airbus versus Boeing. Now a third, serious contender has arrived from the east, challenging the duopoly's dominance. COMAC isn't a peripheral player anymore. It's a competitor shaping the future of global aviation. This shift has far-reaching implications. Airlines now have more choices. Countries without their own wide-body jets can consider alternatives. And the balance of power in aircraft supply and innovation is becoming more dynamic. The world is witnessing the birth of a new era. One where competition drives faster technological advancement, forces legacy companies to adapt, and sets the stage for the most exciting chapter in aviation in decades. 
Comac's rise isn't just theoretical, it's proven in real-world performance. Take the C919, for example. As of May 27, 2025, China Eastern's fleet of C919s had completed over 11,400 commercial flights, logged 28,000 flight hours, and carried more than 1.57 million passengers. These aren't test flights or prototypes. These are operational jets trusted by major airlines to transport thousands of people safely every day. What makes this remarkable is that the C919's daily utilization continues to climb. Airlines are using the aircraft more and more, demonstrating not only reliability but also commercial viability. For a company stepping into a market long dominated by two giants, this is no small feat. Comac has proven that it can deliver on its promises, earning both credibility and confidence from the global aviation community. This real-world validation sets the stage for the C929 and future wide-body jets. If the short-haul jets are performing reliably today, the long-haul ambitions of Comac aren't just dreams, they're entirely plausible. The world is beginning to see China's vision for global aviation take shape one flight at a time. Aviation has always been more than just a business. It's a symbol of national power, industrial strength, and global influence. The country that builds the aircraft often controls the supply chains, sets standards, and wields economic leverage. Comac's rise isn't just about selling jets. It reflects China's broader strategy to lead on the world stage, not just participate. By successfully producing the C919 and advancing the C929 with the domestic CV2000 engine, China is positioning itself as a key player in a field long dominated by the United States and Europe. This gives the country not only economic power, but geopolitical leverage. Countries that depend on Chinese aircraft might become more aligned with China's standards and technology. At the same time, China gains independence from potential sanctions, export restrictions, or political pressures that could affect its aviation sector. In short, COMAC's success signals a shift in global influence. It's a reminder that aerospace isn't just about engineering marvels in the sky. It's about who controls the infrastructure, the technology, and ultimately, the future of international air travel. The stakes go far beyond profits. They touch national prestige, security, and the balance of global power. The 2025 Paris Air Show has revealed a new reality in global aviation. Boeing, once untouchable, faced turbulence and uncertainty. Airbus demonstrated resilience and innovation, racking up record-breaking orders and maintaining its leadership. And Comac, once a quiet challenger, has now announced itself as a serious contender, Proving its aircraft are reliable, its ambitions are global, and its technology is advancing toward full independence. The skies are no longer a duopoly. They've become a tripolar battlefield, and the race for dominance is just beginning. Who will control the future of flight in 2035? Will Boeing recover and reclaim its throne? Will Airbus continue leading with innovation and sustainability? Or will Comac rise from challenger to global powerhouse, reshaping the aviation industry from the East? If you found this breakdown insightful, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment below with your prediction. Which company do you think will dominate the skies in 2035, Boeing, Airbus, or Comac? Stay tuned for more deep dives into the future of flight, global manufacturing, and the technology shaping our world. The journey is just beginning, and the skies have never been more exciting.